Hey guys, this week we're talking about John Calvin in history. I'm um, sure most of you have heard his name before. Uh, he was a very, very important person in, during the Protestant Reformation in Europe. Um, so this was in 1536, and let's get into it. John Calvin was a major leader of the Reformation, whose motto told of his intent. My heart I give to you, O Lord, promptly and sincerely. Born in France in 1509, at 13, his father sent him away to study Greek and Roman writers. He became convinced of the truths of the Reformation, was hunted as a heretic, and fled in disguise to Switzerland. Remember, a heretic was someone that, um, at this time, the church was saying was going against the Bible when really they were just going against the church and the church didn't like it. Um, so, of course, just like Martin Luther, all the people that came before him as well, they said he was a heretic and he had to flee to Switzerland. In Geneva, Switzerland, at the age of 27, he wrote the Institutes of the Christian Religion. He addressed the preface to the King of France. In the preface, he pointed out that Protestants were not disloyal citizens as charged, but faithful to their nation and also to the King of Kings. So people were saying that Protestants, meaning protesting the church, they disagreed with the Roman Catholic Church. And so they were being called disloyal citizens. But he pointed out that's not true. They were faithful to their nation, but also to the king of kings, the ruler of all, who is above the church, who is above their kings, who is above their nation. Uh, so they wanted to make sure they were loyal to God, especially when so many things that were happening in the church were ungodly. The Institutes, which were expanded and published in many editions, systematically explained the teachings of the Christian faith. He spent most of his life in Geneva, where he was a Bible teacher, pastor, and friend of the Protestant refugees from throughout Europe. So many people fled to Switzerland, and he was there and taught them and, and led them. From his understanding of scripture, he developed the Presbyterian form of church government. By the time of his death in Geneva, at the age of 55, he had written a commentary on most of the Bible, which is still used today. He was a very important part of the Reformation, and we still study his writings and teachings today. Um, just like Martin Luther, just like Ulrich Zwingli, and, and all these people that came before them that set the, set the stage for this change in the church um, and for people to have their eyes opened to the truths of the Bible. Um, so we are so thankful for men like him, men like John Calvin, Martin Luther, and all of them that put their lives at risk to spread the true gospel. And even when they went against the church, which of which was a very dangerous thing to do. They knew it was way more important than their lives, what they were doing. And we're so thankful for men like that. Um, so as always, history is optional this week. If you want to do the worksheet, you're free to do it. If you want to do the other activities throughout the week, again, you're free to do it. But I do encourage you to at least do some study, watch the videos um, to get at least a little bit of information about John Calvin, okay?